welcome back. Today we're doing another property preview here in North Park. The subject property is the one behind me. It's fully renovated with an ADU in the back. I'm looking forward to looking at this property. It just recently came on the market. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. North Park, great neighborhood. A lot of great restaurants, breweries, coffee shops. The property has an ADU, which obviously used, looks to be that it was a garage. Now it's turned into an ADU. I'll put all the information on this property on the description below. I love these big numbers. What do you guys think? There's about the size of my hand. Let's take a look inside. You know, like a Tiffany blue door. Ooh. Love the wood burning fireplace. I like the recessed lighting. It still has the original roof contour. Um, and shape to this uh, living room. Seems to be original brick, decent size dining room area, your kitchen with your water drop countertop on the appliances. Obviously this house has been remodeled. I love that they kept all the arch look and that you know, plaster texture throughout even throughout the remodel the light colored flooring as well oh i love that that wood beam there so kind of gives it a nice color separation from the kitchen to the dining room a lot of light in this area farm style sink again nice and bright recess light even that texture throughout the whole house it's like a venetian plaster it's really good in the backyard we'll get to that next little camera area this would be perfect for coffee or if you wanted to put and work from here you could put a desktop <coughs> put a laptop or something there but i think for coffee that would be perfect Love this old pocket here. This is where the mail would fall into and land here. So you wouldn't have to go out to the exterior of the property. It would just fall into the house. Actually, that would be a cool feature to put in my own property. Here's one of the uh, first bedrooms. They staged it as a office space. Again, two large windows, some privacy on trees from the neighbors. I like the original but new style hardware. This is what they used to put in the 1920s and 30s, uh, but it's a new one. Nice, decent sized closet for older home. Little vintage cutout, but again, uh, same plaster throughout the whole house. We have a, another closet in the hallway. And then you have your primary room, which I think it's the same. There's no, um, in these older homes, you didn't really have a bed, bathroom in the primary bedroom or in any bedrooms, you would have shared the one in the center. So that's the case here. That window to the backyard. Now you have your one bath here, fully remodeled. So now let's go to the backyard. One last thing, forgot. Here's some closet space. I like um, that they kept all this uh, storage area in the center instead of just removing it. So there is an ADU, like I mentioned. Uh, obviously. I'm assuming that that was the garage and then they added to the garage. Um, it should be another, at least bedroom or so, but nice size backyard for the primary residence. Vinyl fencing on the back end, um, but you could also, the backyard is shared with the ADU, or you could use it as a kind of like a granny flat or a guest home if you want it as well. 
yeah or if you want to just do a home office by itself you can or if you just want to keep it for uh, as an ADU you could maybe close this off and keep this side of the the property for for this and then you could have this section for the main house oh nice and fresh kitchen right off the bat sink dining room area and living room area no nope, this is the bedroom bath this is a great unit great for rental or again if you wanted to use it for an office space and you can rent it out to your own to your own self if you have your own business you can rent it out to your corporation and this could be your office space with the kitchen like it i think it's time to go get some coffee though Okay, so we're back in North Park. We're gonna preview uh, a listing that my brokerage has here in North Park. Awesome home, vintage, a lot of greeneries, a lot of um, grapes, trees, um, every house, grape vines. Every house here in North Park is slightly different. So you always have to come in. If you see an open house or there's a house on the market, you always want to go inside because you never know what you might gonna find inside and on the outside. Um, yeah, so this house is from Main Street to Alleyway. Uh, the alleyway was the garage, so yeah. So our day didn't end just there. Now, because we live in beautiful San Diego, we tend to come out a lot and enjoy our weather. And now we're in Little Italy. we we'll grab some happy hour, bring you guys along. Use the bike lane. That's twice that guys come on the sidewalk. <laughs> so now we're in Little Italy. Grab some appetizers, maybe, or or something, and some drinks. Happy hour check for the day. Um, closing the deal tomorrow. I'll bring you guys along. Uh, new homeowners here in downtown. Looking forward to that. I'm excited for them. And this weekend, open houses again. And yeah, all you have to do is keep on moving, keep momentum forward. Um, and anything you're doing aside from just real estate, but just keep momentum going. Enjoy life, enjoy your city. Yeah, San Diego. Another Saturday, another open house. Um, blessed because if you follow the market or if you're a real estate agent in San Diego or even maybe possibly California or any part of the other states, it's hard to find an open house. This open house is by a listing uh, 
agent in my office offered me to host the open house there. Looking forward to it, appreciate it. So we're on our way to PB Pacific Beach in San Diego. Uh, price uh, on this property is 1.995. It was just reduced, uh, fully remodeled by an investor. Uh, what else? Four bedrooms, three baths, 1,700 square feet, but I believe. Looking forward to this open house. Uh, hopefully we could find some buyers and or take the let's switch that up hopefully let's find some neighbors that are looking to sell in the neighborhood listing is kings and we're going to find some buyers too so we'll see what happens um, just provide enough value uh, to someone and i mean that's pretty much all you can do provide value and hopefully they choose to work with you and vice versa as an agent you want to pick and choose who you work with as well so let's get going to the open house i just finished my open house I'll be there back tomorrow. I'm gonna to record that day, but I'll be there back tomorrow as well. I just met some buyers at my open house, and I'm gonna go preview a property right here, right around the corner. Uh, this one's listed at 3.2, 3.3 to 3.6, so might be something that might be interested. So, met these buyers um, out of, from out of state here in San Diego. Wants to buy a secondary. They want to buy a secondary home. So we have to do what we got to do to go find them one. So we're going to preview this one. It's a little bit above their budget, but you never know if it's laid out right and it works out for them. You have to create an opportunity for them. This is the property here. It looks like it has a driveway to the property in the back, but this is the driveway for this property. So I'm going to try to record as much as I can. Um, just don't like recording if it's not my listing or if I'm not holding the open house, but I'm sure it has some views. So I was able to show you guys the top, which is probably the best part. Here's a primary primary bedroom, large closet, nice bathroom, the views. That's what you pay for. What do you think? I think it's amazing. I love the, the large yard. I know. See, that's another thing. Great home. Um, it's on the hillside, um, but the, the views were great. The, the investor that did it did a good job. Um, I really like the finishes. Feels like a home. It has a huge backyard, so that's that's key to um, at least something on a hillside like this. So yeah. So we're gonna go preview a property down uh, by the bay. One more for these clients and reach out to them, see if they're interested in seeing any of the other properties or any properties while they're in town. And yeah, just keep on going. Here at the second property, these are new constructions. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys in. And these will be available, hopefully in the next week, here in PP, it's closer to the bay, a new construction. Um, they're pretty much almost, I mean, there is light. They're all, almost pretty much done. Um, these are great. Uh, sliding doors, kitchen, little patio area. Oh, I was wondering where the stairs were. Obviously, they're not completely done. Here's the stairs. Oh, great backyard with um, alley access. Huh, I'm interested in seeing how that looks. I'm assuming bathroom. Yep. Stairs. I'm assuming this would be the possibly the primary room. bedroom, dual sink, bathroom. Then you get a walk-in closet, decent size, sliding doors with a patio, very smooth looking, seamless, only the little two poles going up and down, but um, you do get some inland, not inland views, no ocean views, but Still great, quiet community. One, two, three. Another bedroom, washer and dryer. Uh, 
rear bedroom with a closet and a little small stepping area, a garage. I'm guessing that there might be maybe some type of door right there. I don't see that there would be a bridge to the to the top right there, but I think there's a third floor here. There's gonna probably be glass here. Bathroom, yep, full size bathroom. Gonna walk up these stairs, and now we're in the third floor. Bathroom here. Little rooftop area. Well, I'm assuming that, yeah, you can walk around. Oh man, I love this. This is amazing. The unit next door, obviously, mirror match to this one, so you can put, you know, your lounge chair, your hangout. You get, to, you do get some downtown views over there. You can't see the bay, but you do got some downtown views. And this should take you or facing towards the west of the ocean. So like a storage closet, AC unit, train. I wonder if they're gonna, you're going to be able to have access to the, the rooftop to the garage. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to reach out to my new clients and see if they're interested this won't be available for another week or so so we'll see how they want to pursue how they want to approach this it's nice like it so i'm going to stop by costco to pick up some hot links some bread for the hot links some tequila and a salad we're going to reach out we're going to actually we're going to go over to our good friend's condo in downtown San Diego with some great views. If you follow my social media, you'll see me post occasionally over there. One of our really good friends and people we travel with um, live down there and we're going to do rooftop grilling uh, with views. So we're going to pick up that, those couple stuff and then we're going to go to the Mexican market because I don't need that much squirt, but we're going to make some palomas. So we're going to grab some diet squirt and we're going to go into Vallarta's to grab the squirt.